Hey everyone, it's Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. Today I just want to cover iterating functions. Now this is this is more sort of a, a uh, as you're getting going or beginner uh, session, you know, or or topic around Power BI, uh, but it is such a crucial one. So if you are you're just getting going with Power BI or you've been going for a couple of months and you're still getting it or still trying to get an understanding of what these iterating functions are like SumX or AverageX etc then this is going to be a, a good video for you you've got to learn a bit about how these actually operate and this is just absolutely key learnings before you move on to more complex calculations like calculate or filter etc um, understanding what these these more generic iterating functions or simpler iterating functions is so so important okay so we're going to cover um, uh, the enterprise dna showcase um, model that you can um, sort of view the uh, outline of um, by going to the showcase page which is in the link below um, but basically i'm going to go over some of the internal things like some of the formulas here okay so why even use these particular functions some some of you might be asking and i get this all the time when i go and um, do live trainings or or uh, you know or or, or live summits etc i always get asked well why do you even need to use this why don't why can't i create a calculated column and just use some right now usually you would utilize these because you don't have the column available to you which provides the information to just do a simple sum right okay so let's just have a really quick look this is like a generic sales table right now if we want to analyze say revenue right or total sales we would hope that that particular calculation was done in our, in our table in this particular table it's not done okay now but what we do have is we have two key pieces of information. We have the order quantity and we have the price at which we sold this particular product. This particular sale we made, we know what order, order was, um, what quantity was ordered and also what price that was ordered at, right? Okay, so we don't have, say, a, a generically named revenue column or sales column to just go and do a sum. But what we can do is we can go and calculate that particular calculate that particular result virtually by iterating through this particular table okay and that's what these uh, x functions do like sum x and average x they allow you to iterate through a physical table or a virtual table which we'll go over in a second but this is a physical table we're going to go row by row uh, we're going to go order quantity times unit price, order quantity times unit price, order quantity times unit price. And then we're going to do all of those, save all of those individual results into memory and then sum them all up. And that's exactly what the SumX is going to do. So let's go and have a look. SumX is going to uh, iterate. So this is the table that we're going to iterate through. It's going to iterate through the sales table and it's going to go unit price times the order quantity at every single row. Save all of those individual rows into memory and then at the end of it, we're going to go and sum it up okay now that's the purest reason why these particular formulas are so important and so much more optimal to use than going and creating some calculated column and going and doing those calculations individually okay so because let's have a look we also have the same thing being done for total cost right we have um, we're iterating through a particular table here which is sales and then we're going order quantity times the total unit cost now remember we uh, in that particular table we also didn't have a total cost column at all so we couldn't just go and do a simple sum of all of that column we needed to go row by row now this is sometimes referred to as row context by an, um, a lot of people out there I, I just in my mind have always just said iterating functions are so much more easier to understand what these are doing is they are iterating through whatever table you place in here now remember i said that you can iterate through a and this is where these get um we can take these for a uh, lot more advanced a lot quick uh, very quickly is you can iterate through a physical table but you can also iterate through a virtual table or a subset of a table now let's go and have a look at some of these other calculations here i'm going to drill into one so we're going to go into this averages per day uh, measure group that i've got here and i'm going to calculate the average sales i want to calculate the average sales per month okay 
Now we already have total sales here, okay? So that calculation I just went through before, so we don't need to go and reinvent that or do it again. It's gonna go and do its work. But what we're gonna do is I want I want to understand, okay, for every single month, um, what is our average sales, right? What is the average sales per month that we have achieved? Now, this would be a good result that you could just say place into a, um, you know, a card or something like that. Um, but basically what this is going to do in the current contest is going to iterate through, instead of the whole date table, we're going to iterate through a virtual table instead which is totally legit, legitimate um, with these average x functions. And we're going to create that virtual table by using values. And what values does is that's going to bring us a one column table of just each individual unique month and year. Okay. And then uh, at every single month and year, we're going to aggregate up what the total sales were for that month and year. So we're going to go through um, say say you've got a, a, a long period of time. Well, in this particular case, we've got, in this particular context, we've got um, three months. So it's going to create a table of three months, calculate up the sales for each of those months, and then it's going to average it. Because we have an average X. If you had a sum X here, well, then it's just going to calculate the sum. But that would make no sense because we already have that particular result here. So, but in this particular case, we're working out the average of um, sales per month in the current context. So can you see how these average these these x functions are working now? You can do it physically in a table, but you can also uh, do it virtually with whatever uh, table you want to place inside of the particular function. Now, say for, for instance you wanted to do average sales per week or something like that. Well, then you could change this very quickly to each individual week. Um, and so on and so forth. You do it for you could put just year in here, or half year, or financial year, um, whole whole range of different things. And and you can take this even further. You can take you can place a whole range of different um, parameters in here. Let's just have a look at one before I round this off. We could say, okay, well instead of um, by month and year, we want to have a look at what is the average sales per customer. So in this particular case, we're going to create a virtual table of every single customer, work out how many sales each customer has made, iterate through them, and then once we have the sales of every customer, we're going to average it up, and that's going to give us the average sales per customer. So just another parameter that you can input there, or another way that you can design these functions to um, iterate through whatever you like. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna round things off there because I don't want to go um, too much um, further past this point because there's just some key techniques, especially especially if you're starting off um, with with DAX functions, is understanding these iterating functions, sum x and average x. You'll use these a lot. There's also min x, max x, count x, etc. But sum x and average x, I find personally, I use these um, basically in every development that I do, and just having a very um, good or 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 great understanding of how these uh, work early on and um, and then actually utilizing them using them when you need them um, is very very important okay so certainly if you've got any questions on that add, add it in the uh, comment section below if you liked the video uh, and got a bit out of um, how you can utilize these these functions then throw the video a like really appreciate it and also don't forget to subscribe Wishing you all the best uh, in your Power BI work and look forward to sharing some more content with you very soon.